Hi everyone, welcome to this Wednesday, May 11th. I'm Sister Mary Elizabeth from the Seas of the Word community, and I would like to welcome all of you that are joining us on this day in the fourth week of Easter. First reading today is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, verse 24, until chapter 13, verse 5. This is our first reading for today, so you can grab your Bible and we can start the reading of the Word of God for today. The Word of God continued to advance and gain adherence. Then, after completing their mission, Barnabas and Saul returned to Jerusalem and brought with them John, whose other name was Mark. Now, in the church of Antioch, there were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon was called Niger, Niger Lucius, of, Lucius of Cyrene, Manam, a member of the court of Herod, the ruler, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So, being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. And they had John also to assist them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. First reading today, we see Barnabas and Saul. They were in the community of, just to not be saying the wrong place, Antioch. So they were in Antioch together, ministering to the people. And there, the church saw the necessity of praying together and fasting, praying for their ministers, praying for their, their leaders, and praying for their community. And while they were in prayer, the Holy Spirit inspired them. The Holy Spirit told them that Barnabas and Saul, they were to be set aside for the proclamation of God. So in their prayer, in the fasting and praying, they lay their hands on them and sent them off. Sent them to go to all the cities around them, the small villages, to proclaim the name of Jesus. And as we have heard a few days ago, Paul felt the necessity to preach, not in the synagogues anymore, but to preach to the pagans, to those who did not know Christ, to those who were from other nations. And Barnabas and Saul went off to, to preach about Jesus Christ. And it says that John, Mark, was assisting them. So the evangelist Mark, Mark was with them. So it's beautiful to see how the apostles worked together how they learned from each other. For sure, many things that we hear in the, in the Gospel of St. Mark comes from this experience of mission with Paul. Remember, Mark wasn't an apostle. Mark was an evangelist. He wrote the Gospel. And what he heard, what he saw in mission, for sure, he expressed that in his Gospel too. So here, the mission of the of the apostles, of the messengers, of those who were chosen by God, come together and strengthen the community. So today, what is the Lord asking of us? Who is a person that He is asking us to work with? How are our hearts open to it? Are we open to listen to the Lord and to work with others? There are so many questions that can come from this first reading today. Are we listening to the Holy Spirit? to learn and to listen when and what He wants from us, when we, are go, when we are asked to go out and to proclaim Jesus Christ, but where? There are so many questions that can come to us so we can grow in, this, in spiritual life. We can grow in serving Christ and His church. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 67 today says, May God be gracious and bless us and make His face to shine upon us that your ways be, may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the nations be glad and sing for joy. 
but you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God continue to bless us. Let the ends of the earth revere him. Let the ends of the, of the earth, let the ends of everywhere praise the Lord and revere him. For he is our King and Lord. And Gospel today from St. John, chapter 12, verses 44 to 50. Although Jesus had performed so many signs in the presence of the people, they did not believe in him. Then Jesus cried out, Whoever believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. Whoever sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world, so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in the darkness. I do not judge anyone who hears my words and does not keep them. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not receive my word has a judge. On the last day, the word that I have spoken will serve as judge. For I have not spoken on my own, but the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment about what to say and what to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus is saying, whoever believes in me, believes not only in me, but believes in the one who sent me. And who sent Christ to us? Who sent Christ to the world? God the Father. So believing in Christ is showing our belief in God our belief in our Creator. And Jesus says, I do not judge on my own, but I judge in what I hear from the Father. I do not speak of my own. I speak what I heard from the Father. So Jesus is reassuring us that He, that he and the Father are one. That they are one in one heart and one soul and one mind. And believing in Christ is believing in God. And for us in our faith, the Holy Trinity shows us this unity of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. First reading, we, ho we heard that the community at Antioch, they heard the Holy Spirit setting aside Barnabas and Paul for a minister of preaching to many. We can say that they heard Jesus Christ. They heard God the Father saying that because the Trinity is one. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but one. This gospel today is inviting us to grow in relationship with Jesus Christ. And you may say, I already have a relationship with Jesus Christ. So look at Jesus Christ by thinking of the Father. Jesus says, I am the face of the Father on earth. If we are like Philip asking, Lord, show me the Father and I will be satisfied. We can, we can know and we know that the face of the Father is the face of Jesus Christ. His face is the face of the Father for us. Let's ask this grace of seeing Jesus Christ, of hearing His word and understanding and receiving it as the word of the Father for us. And believing in Christ is believing in God the Father. Amen. <music>